Alrighty then, good afternoon all you fantastic people, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with a quick little install tutorial for uh, Hardcore SK RimWorld. Uh, now generally speaking this is uh, fairly easy, probably the biggest issue people are having right now uh, with 1.0 for RimWorld is that you have to use the development version uh, of Hardcore SK or it will not work. Uh, as they are currently waiting on some additional mods to be released to help complete the pack at the moment here. So the actual development version, as or branch I should say, on GitHub will be linked down below. Uh, as well as the Discord for Hardcore SK. In case you have any additional questions, there's a lot of really helpful people on there who can give you a quick hand. So obviously the first thing would be go to the development location, uh, right click on... Let me actually see if I can pull this up here quickly... Uh, let me see here. I can pull up the GitHub. Well, it doesn't matter. But on the top right corner, you have clone or download. Just click on that. Download the zip. Let me see if I can separate this here. I don't really want to drag too much. That's so yeah. Just whoa, shit. That's a bit too much there. So just click on clone, download, download the zip, save the file wherever the heck you want to save it. Uh, after that, of course, uh, unzip it. We'll throw this over here. Uh, go into Steam. Right click on RimWorld, go Properties, uh, Local Files, that'll pull up your actual RimWorld tab here. Uh, let me get my video up here. So you want to go into Mods, just copy all of this, right click, copy. Uh, I'm not going to actually paste this because I've already done so. Paste it all into the Mod folder here, overwrite whatever you need to overwrite. And I should mention that a fresh save does help. Or a fresh install, I should say, from RimWorld does help. Sometimes it can cause issues if you don't. I had all kinds of problems until I did a fresh install. So old mod conflicts and such might be causing issues there. So it is good to always give it a try with a fresh install. After that, we have the actual mod config here. So you want to take that. You want to go to your uh, app data. Uh, more specifically here, we have, of course, whatever your main drive is, users, whatever your username happens to be, app data. If you can't find the app data folder, you can use, uh, what was it? It was uh, uh, percent app data percent, I believe, will help pull up the app data folder, if I'm not mistaken. Let me actually uh, try here, see if that actually works still. Uh, and yeah, there you go, app data folder right there. Alright, so that'll get you into the roaming folder. Uh, you're going to want to back out, though, to app data from roaming for whatever reason. You can go to local low. Uh, then we need Ludden Studios, RimWorld, and finally, config. So, app data, local low, Ludden Studios, RimWorld, config. At that point, you just uh, click on the, or, well, copy the mod config. Paste her in here, overwrite the mod config that it ha that exists, and you're basically good to go at that point. Launch RimWorld, and then you should get the splash screen for uh, Hardcore SK. Now, again, if you get a gigantic wall of red error text, then you're going to have to do a fresh install because otherwise, you know, it's, it's not going to work. But that's literally it. You just take the mods, copy them into the mod folder, copy the config file into the proper folder, and you're pretty much ready to go. Now, of course, Hardcore SK will take a long time to load uh, and get... But once you're in the game, it runs fine, but it does take quite a bit of time to actually load everything in. I would obviously suggest having RimWorld on an SSD because that will help, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but otherwise, it is going to take quite a bit of time to pull this... You know, pull up all the information that it needs to pull up, uh, especially on the initial launch and world creation. Mostly, it's just the initial launch. Uh, same thing if you add any of the optional mods in the game. Uh, it is going to take quite a bit of time. Like if I actually, let me actually go ahead and launch this here. Hopefully it's windowed so I can actually drag it over. Otherwise it's going to be a, of course it's not windowed. There we go. I've forced it to be windowed. So let's drag that over here. Make sure everything's popping up. So there you go. It should load right on in like this. There shouldn't be any issues. Of course, this is still going to take like, I'd say a good two minutes to load. I uh, load all the definitions and everything like that. Actually, I don't even know. Do I even have this on an SSD? That's a good question. Uh, is that an SSD? Ah, uh, yes, it is actually an SSD. So even on the SSD, it takes a, it takes quite a bit of time for it to load. 
unfortunately. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, that just kind of goes to show the sheer amount of mods that are actually in this pack. Now, obviously, if you there are some additional optional mods that are added in, such as Seeds Please and all that. You can enable those, of course, which is going to force a restart. But either way, as long as this loads and you get to the main screen without a giant window of errors, you're pretty much good to go. So it's relatively self-explanatory in that regard. Not too much to have to do there, but uh, you just got to make sure that you potentially use a fresh install of RimWorld. And you currently, at least, what is today? It is the 19th of January 2019. Uh, we're using the development build rather than the main build. Eventually, their main page will be updated with the full, like, release version uh, likewise the development version may contain bugs and issues that they're ironing out over time they're tweaking mods and adding new mods and doing all kinds of things to it right now so it is going to be very fluid for a bit of time until they get whatever it is they're waiting for i'm honestly not sure what they're waiting for at this point mod wise uh but yeah pardon me so anyway uh everything for the links for the development tree as well as the Discord will be in the description down below. Feel free to check those out. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot them my way. I can try my best. Although, honestly, I don't have a massive amount of experience with the issues for Hardcore SK, so your best bet would still be the Discord uh, for it. But regardless, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully this helped out those who were having issues. And I shall see you all later. Till then, have a great one.